Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Bless Your Coupons. My name's Joni and today I am headed out to do my end of the week Walmart I bought a haul. Um, it is pretty early so uh, I've not had a midweek, no, weekend warrior bonus pop up. I keep getting those confused. I have not had that pop up for me yet so I am hoping that while in store that will pop up. I'm also holding out hope for a $10 bonus um, but we'll see. I know most of you already got yours so it could be I'm just not going to get one but I'm always hopeful. I'll always uh, looking for it. So I'm pretty excited to head out. I don't know how many offers I need, but I do have a decent sized list going. So um, hopefully, regardless of what it is, I'll be able to hit it and get all of those offers. But we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, I love to do my Ibotta shopping. It, it's not really important to me. Um, the bonuses, those are so much fun. Those add to the game, but I love doing this. Love being able to provide for my family. And so I'm I'm doing it with or without a bonus. One of the things that I've been thinking about is um, I think I could be totally wrong because obviously I don't follow everybody, but I think that I may be one of the few um, couponers to bring to I bought a hauls a week. I could be totally wrong on that, but I wanted your opinion. And I know when you ask for opinions, you're going to get them. And sometimes they're uh, constructive and sometimes they're not. Um, but I do want your opinion. So I'm asking. Um, is it overkill? I'm going to do two I bought a hauls a week. That's just the way it is. I'm going to do it. I'm going for both those bonuses. Um, I will pick them up in grocery challenges if I can. I will pick them up at CVS if I can. Um, but I'm actually headed to the store and going to do Walmart I bought a shopping twice a week. I'm just going to do it. But is it overkill to bring it to you? Is it just too much? Like two I bought a hauls a week, really only three days apart. Do you feel overloaded by that? Because obviously I don't have to bring you both of them. I can do uh, just the one if that really helps you keep things more together. And 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 two, like I know that you are comparing across the board what everyone's getting and you're compiling all that and making the best list. That is smart shopping. I am all for that. Um, really seeing what each individual uh, couponer is getting and then taking the best of everything and putting it together to make the absolute best list you can. That is smart shopping. So I'm in favor of that. Um, but is, is bringing you two a week confusing or not helpful? So um, if you have an opinion on that or some uh, cr uh, constructive criticism on that, definitely leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, do you like seeing the two a week or would one be better? So yeah, let me know what you think. It is a rainy, dreary day here today, so um, I'm going to be getting out of the car and into the store and hoping I don't get rained on, um, but I'm pretty excited as always. I'm headed out to my bigger Walmart, so I'm hoping to be able to find some things uh, that I can't find at the smaller Walmart. A couple of new rebates popped up, so I'll be looking for those couple of rebates I was looking forward to doing disappeared, but that's okay too. And hey, if you follow me on Instagram, did you see those two freebies? One of them is the apple cinnamon check. So I'll definitely be looking for that. Um, the other is um, Jojo's chocolate. And I meant to, um, I meant to check my Walmart app to even see if my Walmart has them and where they would be locating. I will be looking for them. So I will definitely do that. I forgot to do it, but I will do that just to see if my Walmart has them. I've never seen them before. As you know, I'm in Walmart twice a week in two different states. Um, I don't know if you know this, but I live in Massachusetts, but I live right on the line. So when I go to my bigger Walmart, it's actually in Connecticut. So it's not a drive for me at all, but it is a whole different state. Um, so yeah, I, I'm in there a lot. I think that if our Walmarts had them, I would have noticed it. I've never noticed this. So kind of going off of that, I'm usually right, um, but I will check. I will check the app and see. Um, if it says that our, the Walmart has them. So yeah, that's kind of what's uh, going on. I do have several Swagbuck offers, um, but Swagbucks can be tricky. So they're on the list, but you just never know. Those things could disappear on me in a flash and I wouldn't be the least bit surprised. So there's that. I do have a couple of Fetch. Um, do have a couple of Shopkick. I am still waiting on Kicks to come back from a haul I did weeks ago, like weeks ago. And the funny thing was, is when I mentioned this to you guys in my last haul, so on Monday, um, I got those back same day, which blew my mind. I'm like, here I am telling these guys I don't get them back quickly. Um, and I got them back same day, but this, um, that's rare. It has been that the kicks are taking me forever. Um, and again, 
there's kicks I've been waiting on from several hauls ago and they still have not come through. And again, as I mentioned before, um, the crummy part of that is you, you know, they're not going to reset if they, if you haven't received the kicks, they're not resetting. So I'm like, come on. I'm like, I think I've checked my app every day trying to see if those kicks have come through. So that's annoying. I'm going to be real. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. So anyway, headed to Walmart to do my end of the week Walmart. I bought a shopping. And if you want to see what I got today, stay tuned and I'll show you. Okay. So here are all the things that I picked up in my Walmart. I bought a haul. This is 18 offers and my weekend whiteboard bonus did not show up until I submitted my receipt. It ended up being a dollar for 10 offers. So obviously I hit it. Um, but I was a little bit bummed that it was only a dollar, which that's not that big of a deal, but also that it didn't show up until I was done. But either way, at least I got one. That's the bright side. Another thing that I was kind of disappointed about is this morning, I had brand new L'Oreal Cosmetic Rebates in my Shopkick app. And I was so excited about that because I knew that my Walmart had some L'Oreal makeup on clearance. And when I got there, they had disappeared. So I was like, oh, come on. These disappearing rebates are about to drive me up a wall. But let me know if you got those and if they disappeared on you or if you still have them in your app. But either way... Uh, they showed up this morning and disappeared a couple of hours later. So, But let's go ahead and jump in and talk about what I did pick up. Okay, so the first thing that I picked up were the Apple Cinnamon Checks. This was a freebie that I uh, posted on my Instagram this morning. Um, and my intention was to use that dollar coupon that you see there. There's really no reason that that coupon should not have worked, but it didn't. And I didn't press the issue um, I always go through the self-checkout and the lady working the self-checkout, uh, there's a couple of different ladies that work there. And this one in particular is not the happiest person. And so for whatever reason that she's just kind of not a happy person, I don't want to make her life more difficult. Um, and the littlest things kind of upset her even more. <laughs> so I already had another coupon, which I'll mention a little bit later, that didn't go through that I really felt like should have and I wanted to kind of press it. And because this was a freebie anyway, I thought, let me just press it on the one coupon and not this one so as not to upset her too much. But anyway, uh, so I picked up the Apple Cinnamon Checks. These are $3.98. I redeemed I bought it for $3.98, made my final cost completely free. Okay, so the next thing I picked up were the Dixie Disposable Plates. Uh, I picked up two of them for $2.52 each. That brought my total to $5.04. I used a $1.50 off two printable coupon that I got from the Dixie website, and this is the coupon that beeped. This coupon reads um, $1.50 off of any two um, Dixie products. There are some restrictions I can't remember exactly what they are, but I made sure that these plates did not fall into those restrictions. So it absolutely should have worked. And I really kind of needed it to, to make this deal really worthwhile to me. So this is the coupon that I did kind of, you know, call her over, ask her to put through. And she did. Um, but I got this from the Dixie website. So I used this $1.50 off two printable coupon. I redeemed it. I bought it for 75 cents on each, which is $1.50. And that made my final cost $2.04 or just $1.02 two each. Okay, next are the Dixie Ultra Cutting Boards. Um, these are $4.48. I used that dollar Peely coupon that you see attached to the product. I redeemed I bought it for $2.50, and that made my final cost just $0.98. Cents. Okay, and then the Sun Made Yogurt Covered Raisins. Um, I picked up two of the chocolate covered raisins for $2.14 each, and I know it says $1.98 there, but those were in the wrong place. Um, so that brought my total to $4.28. I used a dollar off two Peely coupon. I redeemed to Ibotta for 50 cents when you buy two, but then they also attach to another offer for uh, 50 cents on each, so a dollar. And I'm going to insert that picture here just so you can see the two different rebates. I forgot to add it to the slide. Um, but it counts as two separate offers for that reason, so that's always a plus. That made my final cost a dollar seventy-eight or just 89 cents each. Next is a repeat deal for me, but this also counts as two separate offers and it's free and a money maker. So definitely picking it up again. The Ocean Spray Craisins, the six pack. These are $2.12. I redeemed to Ibotta, Ibotta for 75 cents. And then I also redeemed for a separate offer of $1.50. Made my final cost free and a 13 cent money maker. And like I said, it counts as two separate offers. 
Okay, and next is the Werther's Originals. So I picked up two of the sugar-free caramels for $1.98 each. That brought my total to $3.96. I redeemed to Ibotta for $2.18 when you buy two. And then I also redeemed to Swagbucks for $3 when you buy two. That made my final cost free and a $1.22 moneymaker. Um, I do think that you can do this deal uh, with the small boxes that you can find up at the uh, cash registers. I did not try it myself. I meant to go look for them and then didn't see them until I was cashing out. And by then I'm like, okay, whatever. I knew they were already free doing it this way, but I don't know exactly how the deal works for sure. Um, I did see that Thrifty Mommy um, picked up the little boxes, but I didn't, I don't think I heard how the deal worked out for her, um, but I do know she was able to get those. So, um, and hey, definitely go check out her channel. Um, her name is Thrifty Mommy, and you can go see uh, whatever deals and things that she does if you don't follow her already. Um, but I do think you can pick those up, and this deal possibly works, but this is another way it works, and it's a freebie, so wanted to let you know about that. Okie dokie. Next up is the Trident Singles. These are $1.12 each, so you need to pick up two of them. That will bring your total to $2.24. Redeem to Ibotta for $1.12 when you buy two. Makes your final cost $1.12 or $0.56 cents each. Okay, and then the Soft Soap Hand Soap. You've seen me do this a few times before. You pick up four of them for $0.98 cents each. That brought my total to $3.92. Redeem to Ibotta for $1.50 when you buy four. Makes your final cost $2.42 or just $0.60 cents each. And then the set of Phil Face Wipes, again, another repeat deal. These are $5.97. I used a $3 insert coupon. I redeemed to Ibotta for $1.75, and that made my final cost $1.22. Next up is the Success Boil in a Bag Rice. This is $2.28. Redeemed to Ibotta for $0.50. Cents. Makes your final cost $1.78. Okay, and then the Kraft Mac and Cheese, such an easy rebate. These are 98 cents, redeemed to Ibotta for 35 cents, makes your final cost just 63 cents. Okay, and then the Extra Gum, these are a dollar, redeemed to Ibotta for 50 cents, makes your final cost 50 cents. Next up are the Crayola Crayons. I uh, did post about this on my Instagram as well. There are a couple of ways you can do this deal. So, um... The rebate in I bought it is for $1.39. Obviously, you can pick up one box for 50 cents and, you know, it's an even bigger money maker. I chose to pick up two boxes at 50 cents each, brings your total to a dollar, redeem to I bought it for $1.39, makes your final cost free and a 39 cent money maker. So this way you are getting two for completely free and a money maker. But there's a third way you could do this, especially if you need them, and that's to pick up three of them. So I'm just doing the math real quick because I can't do it in my head. Um, and then you can get three boxes for 11 cents. So I hope that makes sense. So if you just want to get one box, they're 50 cents minus $1.39, sorry, 50 cents minus $1.39, um, you're going to get them for free and an 89 cent money maker. That is the best way to do it. Now I've got kids in school. I know I can use these. So I went ahead and picked up two, still got them for free, still got them as a money maker. And that's the way I chose to do it. But you could go ahead and pick up three of them and uh, it, it doesn't make them free, but it does make them just 11 cents for all three. So a couple of different ways you can do this depending on what your need is. This is how I did it. All right, next up are the Flips Chocolate Covered Pretzels. These are $2.86. I redeemed to Ibotta for $0.75. Cents. I redeemed to Shopkick for 200 kicks and 20 scan kicks, or $0.88. Cents. Makes your final cost $1.23. Now, I couldn't find them in my store, but do look at the checkout. You may be able to find a cheaper bag of these and maybe that bag works. I don't know because I couldn't find it to check it out, but definitely be on the lookout and see if you can make an even sweeter deal out of this. Okay, next up is the Palm Olive Dish Soap. I picked up this little guy for 98 cents. I redeemed to Shopkick for 225 kicks or 90 cents. Made my final cost just 8 cents. Now, if you've already, uh, if you've not already done this deal, there are scan kicks. You do have to scan a larger bottle to get the scan kicks. Um, but I've already done it, so I didn't have any scan kicks available. But I think it's, I want to say it's like 2 cents if you've not used your scan kicks. Okay, next up is the Axe Body Spray and Deodorant. Now, let me just say right up front, this is two completely separate deals. In Ibotta 
and in Shopkick. It's not even a bundle deal. The only reason I bundled it together is because we have a three off two insert coupon and I wanted to be able to use that coupon. So you are getting two separate offers in Ibotta. You are also getting two separate offers in Shopkick doing this. So you're gonna pick up a spray, an Axe body spray for $4.84. And then you're also going to pick up a deodorant for $434. That brought, uh, will bring your total to $918. Use that three off of two insert coupon. Redeem to Ibotta for $1.25 on the spray. And then redeem to Ibotta for a dollar on the deodorant. Redeem to Shopkick for 375 kicks on the spray and then 375 kicks on the uh, deodorant. You'll also get 20 scan kicks per item. So the total there is $3.16. That will make your final cost 77 cents or just 38 cents each. Okay, next is the one by Poise. Um, I picked up the two-in-one pads. This was $6.88. I redeemed to coupons.com for $3. I redeemed to Shopkick for 700 kicks and 20 scan kicks, so $2.88. And then I also redeemed to Fetch for 3,000 points or $3. That made my final cost free and a $2 money maker. Okay, and then the Garnier Whole Blends. I picked up two of these for $6.47 each, so that brought my total to $12.94. I used this four off to insert coupon. I redeemed to Swag Bucks for $12 when you buy two. Made my final cost free and a $3.06 money maker. Okay, and then the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I picked up one of these for $5.34. I redeemed to Swag Bucks for $5. Now, you do need to spend at least $5 on the product. So um, it wouldn't have worked for me to use the blush that I usually pick up because it's less than $5. So whatever you can find that is a Fit Me product and is over $5. So I picked up the foundation um, and redeemed to Swagbucks that made my final cost 34 cents. I will tell you right up front that um, they did not give me the $5 back. So I submitted a ticket to get the $5 back and I've already got it back. So just since uh, I did it right away in my car. So as soon as I submitted my receipt and saw that I wasn't getting the $5 back before I ever left the parking lot, I submitted a ticket. It did take a few hours, um, but I've already gotten it back. So uh, definitely a great deal there. Okay, and then the last thing I picked up was a clearance find. Um, I was excited to pick this up because I've never tried these products. Uh, it's the Garnier Green Labs face cleanser. They have um, mo Green Lab moisturizer, a Green Lab serum. I mean, even between CVS and Walmart, I've never picked up the Green Labs products, but they were on clearance for $1.99, which I thought that was amazing, even without a coupon. Um, but I used a $2 insert coupon. Made my final cost free and a one penny money maker. So definitely check your facial aisle in Walmart. This was not the only thing on clearance. There was a ton of stuff. There were some uh, Neutrogena products. There was some Biore. There was Olay. There was, I mean, you name it. There was a ton of it. So definitely check your Walmart, see what you can find. You know, sometimes... It's not about whether or not there's a rebate on it. It Sometimes it's just it's on clearance and you've got a coupon and it's going to help out the rest of your shopping because it's free. It's completely free. Or sometimes it's free in a moneymaker. So always be on the lookout for the clearance deals. See if you've got a rebate, but see if you've just got a coupon. And if that's all you got, still grab it because as long as it's going to be free or a moneymaker, it's helping out your haul. So that was definitely um, worth it to me. And it was also the last thing I picked up. Okay, everybody, and there it all is. So let's see. Oh, and you know what? Something else that happened again. I feel like I this kind of had these bummers that happened in this haul, um, but I redeemed at checkout, which I always do, for a $10 fetch gift card. I had enough points to do that, and I was going to roll that into this transaction, bought the gift card, and it wouldn't give me the barcode. It was giving me a um, a message saying, it would show up by the end of the day. So I was like, what? So I wasn't able to use that and I was so disappointed. So I still have it in my fetch. I'll use it on Monday when I do my beginning of the week haul. So it's there, but I was kind of counting on that and and that's never happened. I've always been able to cash out right at the cash register for my fetch gift cards. It's always worked perfectly and today it didn't. So I was a little bummed by that. But anyway, I paid $68.40 out of pocket. I did redeem um, for a gift card. So I earned 34 cents on that. I got back $7.94 from Shopkick, $3.20 from Fetch, $24.02 from Ibotta, 
$20 from Swagbucks, and then $3 from coupons.com. I also hit my weekend whiteboard bonus, which was a dollar. Um, so yeah, I think I paid, I want to say it was like $8 for everything you see here. I'm not sure what it is on an individual basis, um, but not bad. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. I do apologize that it's a little bit later than usual. Um, something came up with one of the kiddos, and that just put me a bit behind. Um, but there is a printable list in the description box below, so you can print that out, take it to the store with you. And there are referral links and codes for all of the different cashback apps. So uh, if you're not signed up for any of those, definitely get signed up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Hey, if you're not new to my channel, uh, give this video a thumbs up. That really does help. Um, share it with your friends and family and leave me a comment below. If you're new, let me know you're new. And if you're not, uh, just comment whatever you'd like. I love talking with you guys. Um, but I pray you have a very blessed evening and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, bye-bye.